Hello, hello. Welcome to Leap Taken. Here at Leap Taken, I talk about all things witchy, craft related, law of attraction, manifesting, esoteric, and everything else in between. Thank you so much for watching. All right. So I wanted to do a video where I basically just sort of show you a little bit of how I like to end the month, how I like to begin the month. Like what type of things do I do as a cottage witch? Um, one thing I want like to do is I'm a big planner. I like paper planning. I like digital planning as well, but I definitely love paper planning and I like paper crafts. So what I'm doing right now is just preparing some newly downloaded <laughs> planner pages that I got from uh, an Etsy shop and link will be in a description if you are interested. So this is just the tedious portion of it. But while I'm doing this tedious task, let me just explain to you. You know, I find I'm much better at a lot of things when I'm preparing and when I'm taking stock and taking summary of the month end as well. And this is a time that I just take, oh, whether it's over, you know, just that last week or so with the month, like a day or two, or maybe a couple days right before the new month to kind of get it together, you know, get my ducks in a row, so to speak, record information, do the fun projects. Um, and some of it is tedious doing that sort of stuff, but I function better going into the next month when I take that opportunity. So this is just sort of a glimpse a bit of uh, the things that I sort of like to do to round out my month and start the beginning of a new month. So I really do hope you enjoy. Um, you'll I'll show you a little bit of everything, <laughs> my different books, journals and planners and uh, little aspects of my life as a cottage witch. So thanks for watching. Don't forget um, to go ahead and hit that like button if you do enjoy this video and uh, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. But I will go ahead and let the rest of this video go. Thanks again. Okay, so now that I have everything ready to go, for the planner so these are my previous pages um, that I had ready to go my planner this would be September I have here uh, these are my spread for September so I'm gonna jump into if I can get it together so I printed out more of these divider pages um, where they're with these scalloped edges I think these are so cute I've had this um, scrapbook paper for quite some time so thought why not use it so I printed out new daily pages and to give you an idea of what it used to look like these were the other pages that I had before so um, I went ahead and printed out the new design that I like and I just these are ready to go um, I, I love this so much I think it's so cute <laughs> So this is October and I printed out a different page. It's just kind of like the cover page and I put an extra bunch of stickers on here because I thought, why not? It's fun. And then these are all my plans for um, this month, including some content. These are my weekly plans and this is what the blank page looks like. Um, I really like this. And I always, of course, print out uh, additional paper. I have notes here. Uh, additional paper. And this is what like just a plain page. This will be um, November's monthly, which I think is actually really cute. And this is such a great deal. I mean, I already have paper. The investment for me is the paper, but uh, because I get the thicker 30 pound weight paper, it's just something about it. So this I print it on just a clear background where with the other pages I did the textured print background. I just wanted to try it out. I like them both. But yeah, this is another way that I get ready. Okay, so this has been a fun project that I've been doing. This is my memory uh, keeping planner or journal, I guess. I use the planner as a journal. So uh, this is September and I've given myself the grace of not worrying about if I complete every week in the month. It's not about that. It's just capturing kind of the significant things. So um, I feel like I've come a long way <laughs> with my memory keeping. But anyway, so yeah, um, you know, I, I, I 
already journaled a little bit and printed it out. I didn't do anything for the month of September. I just, I couldn't, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. But this is kind of, you know, what I did. And this has really brought me some happiness doing this. This has been fun. Um, just working on these spreads and, you know, laying the stickers down, putting the pictures on here. It's just, it's really been fun. Um, it's just been a fun thing. Very creative outlet for me. Um, I didn't even write a bunch of stuff here, but because this was kind of, I went to Florida um, and I just wanted to kind of <laughs> capture some of my happiest moments um, when I went. So I did that. And I, like I said, I was supposed to go back and add notes and I didn't, but that's okay because just looking at these pictures, they tell me a story. And then I didn't do anything for the last month. I didn't uh, record anything in here yet, but, um, or here. And here's the thing about memory keeping, like it has to happen and then you come back to it. So um, I don't have very much for this time frame. Um, I know I'll, I'll still have to, I took a picture of it when I went to the theater to see The Woman King, so there's that. Uh, but I haven't actually updated this just yet, so <laughs> there's that. But like I said, I give myself that grace. So this is actually the week at, that I'm filming. I'm actually doing this now, so uh, it's this week. So I will have to... Um, you know, come back after the fact and do it. So this is not the kind of thing where I plan it in advance because, you know, it hasn't happened yet. I like to capture it after after the fact. So this is something I try to update. So coming into October, for me, part of that is finishing up September so I can, you know, start a new month and, you know, add some new pictures and some new memories. But this is something I look forward to at the start of a new month of just like going back and finishing up everything from the previous month so I can come in with exciting things. It it adds some excitement to my life. That's why I think I like it so much. And this would be my um, sort of like a memory keeper, but my book journal of keeping track of the books that I've read. I just kept a blank page here. So I had already filled all this in at some point. And I added, I just like the way this divider page looks, so I added it here. <laughs> but this is for September. Um, and I, these are the books that I have here, and I just have not come in and updated them yet. This is very ambitious of me. This is all for September. We are on September. Uh, when you see this, I believe it'll be the 29th or the 30th, and I'm getting through it. I got these books. I've read these. I've read this. <laughs> I just got to add my notes and I've read this and this. So I really have one, two, <laughs> three, finish this one and four. So yeah, I'm, I'm doing the best I can, guys. <laughs> but I look forward to starting and I got some new pretty paper, pink paper, um, starting October as well and you know I won't continue like I'll just go back and jot my notes here but I look forward to going and starting up October next so that'll be fun uh, these are some of the things that kind of just bring me joy like I said a creative outlet for myself but yeah this is just a happy planner notebook and these are the other pages and I've just been inserting some pink pages to and have little crystals on them I just like that little bit of whimsy then, of course, I like to make sure I come in and if there's anything I need to update that I haven't updated in my Cottage Witchery uh, Book of Shadows, I definitely will do that. And I'm just flipping through just so you can kind of get an idea of, of how I have it set up. It was so fun doing this. I don't I love sharing it because it was so fun creating it um, and all the little pockets and things like that. I have little goodies in here. It's it was a dream making this, but I like to come in and make sure that, you know, anything I've worked on, did I update it? Um, hopefully I'm doing that in real time, but the reality is that's not always true. And um, sometimes I don't do that. So I don't always, you know, in real time, write it immediately down. So I want to make sure that I record the things I want to things that have been weighing on me and you know sometimes I because I take too long to do it and I, you know I I have to do better sometimes but I'm working on it but yeah that's why I make it a thing where it's like okay let me go ahead and look at 
you know, in my bulk? Have I, you know, updated this appropriately? Um, do I have the notes in here that I need? And, you know, that sort of thing. So I've been doing pretty good for the most part. Um, you know, there's notes and recipes and things like that in here that um, are beneficial to my cottage witchery. I love that. I love having just the decorative pages um, as well. And, you know, I have a lot of good little notes and things like that. Uh, it's, I love this, having this, um, this is just perfect for me and how I, how I work. We cannot forget spell work. I cannot forget my spell work. So I definitely like to make a point to revisit, um, relight candles, uh, make sure I have certain things on my altar that I want to bring certain energy to, whether it's purifying or cleansing um, or just staying in touch with already uh, completed spells. Um, I, I basically have this thing where I basically like to just sort of check in that little tray there is something I actually picked up at five below it's a, the moon tarot card but I love using that as sort of like my uh, charging station spell charging station um, so when I have things displayed there they um, during the time they are like active spells that I'm working on um, or active things and I'm just showing a little bit of my wand off right now and I made this out of birch wood I'm very proud of it um, but yeah I'm very excited about that okay and then we just have my um, Hecate uh, journal that I keep and this is just something I feel like I like to update and I like to you know at least on a monthly basis I try to keep up with um, things in here so I just have this ready to go this is a Mod Podge page that I did something I got from Pinterest as well so I love the way these pages came out so and just something I printed out and just extra paper I'm gonna do something with but yeah this is um, definitely something as it's a work in progress but um, and I did this vinyl because I kind of wanted to just jazz this up a little bit as best as I could so that this is my attempt at that that got a little turned over but yeah and you can still see this but I don't care <laughs> so yeah this is um also something that I like to keep up with I like to keep track of um so this is something you know as part of my monthly beginning of the month like I want to check into this and make any entries and things like that as well and of course of course of course, of course, one of the things that I check almost daily, but I do a careful check are my plants, my plant babies. I am a plant mama, very proud of it. And I took these, you know, Home Depot, Lowe's or wherever else I picked them up plants. And I have successfully kept these babies alive and thriving, actually growing and thriving. Um, and I'm very proud of that. Some have already They've begun their new journey of getting their permanent or re, repotted. I don't want to say their permanent home. They may have to get repotted again, especially that snake plant. But I even have some herbs growing. They are still there. I struggle with growing from seeds. So that's been something I'm very proud of. Yeah, I like to do a stock, a full stock. Um, 
at least uh, once a month. Uh, I do journal about this, but I visually just stand there and I just talk. I have a conversation with them. I'm very proud of my plants, if you can tell. So thanks again for watching. I'm Mika. This is Leap Taken. Hit like, subscribe, share. Hit the join button. Consider going to leaptaken.com to see my services. And one other thing, I'd like to log my sleep, and that's something I like to look at at the end of the month going into the new month. And this is just a physical representation of where I sleep. Thanks. Bye-bye.